Hey, I am Three Plus Key, your favorite social worker. Welcome back. We're here again with TPK Kids, and the book today is The Big Red Lollipop by Ruxana Khan. So here we have a little girl holding up a big red lollipop. Oh, I bet it's tasty. Do you guys like lollipops? Look at that. Oh, there's more here with the lollipop. It looks like a kazoo and other pieces of candy. I'm so excited. I run all the way home from school. Oh, and it looks like she's running from block to block to block past the houses and the storefronts. Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys, cake and ice cream. Can I go? Sana screams. I want to go too. Ami says, what's a birthday party? It's when they celebrate the day they were born. Why do they want to do that? They just do. Can I go? Oh, here she is. And we see the baby and Ami and little sister, Sana. Do you have a little brother or a little sister? How old are they? Are they babies? Sana screams, I want to go too. I can't take her. She's not invited. Why not? Says Ami. They don't do that here. Ami says, well, that's not fair. You call up your friend and ask if you can bring Sana or else you can't go. But Ami, they'll laugh at me. They'll never invite me to another party again. Sana screams, I want to go too. You can see she's here and she's thinking about her friends that invited her to the party. And we have Ami telling her that Sana must go too. And poor Sana is just crying her eyes out. When you go to a birthday party, do you bring your little brothers and sisters too? What do you think about that if you do? I say, look, Sana, one day you'll get invited to your own friends' parties. Wouldn't you like that better? No, I want to go now. I beg and plead, but Ami won't listen. I have no choice. I have to call. Sally says, all right. But it doesn't sound all right. I know she thinks I'm weird. Oh, look at her pretty dress. And Ami is saying, nope, you've got to take her. And Sana is throwing a fit. But the little baby, little baby's just being sweet. Oh, she's so stressed. She's calling her friend. And her friend says, all right. But maybe the friend does mind because the friend that's holding the birthday party just wants to hang out with her own friends and not her friend's little sister. Maybe. At the party, I'm the only one who brought her little sister. Sana has to win all the games. And when she falls down during musical chairs, she cries like a baby. Oh, have you ever played musical chairs before? When you go around and around to the music and then the music stops and you have to find a chair. So one person is left out like Sana right here. She didn't make it. So she cried. Poor Sana. Oh, my pages are stuck.
Hold tight. <laughs> Before we leave the party, Sally's mom gives us little bags. Inside, there are chocolates and candies, a whistle, a ruby ring, and a big red lollipop. Sana eats her big red lollipop on the way home in the car. I save mine for later. Do you see everything in the bag? Of course, there's a big red lollipop, but it looks like there's a gummy worm. And there's that kazoo, different pieces of candy, a ring with a ruby on it. And here they are in the car. She's saving hers for later, but Sana is going to town on her big red lollipop. When you get pieces of candy, do you like to eat it right then, or do you save yours for later? Sana doesn't know how to make things last. By bedtime, her candies are all gone, her whistle is broken, and the ruby in her ring is missing. I put my big red lollipop on the top shelf of the fridge to have in the morning. All night, I dream about how good it will taste. Sana is knocked out. She had a sugar crash. And here she is dreaming about her red lollipop. Yum. In the morning, I get up early to have it. Sana's already up. When she sees me, she runs away. I open the fridge door. All that's left of my lollipop is a triangle stuck to a stick. Sana! Oh, no. I know. She is upset. And we just see Sana's legs. Sana is about to be gone with the wind. What do you think is about to happen? You think they're going to hug it out? I hear a sound in the front closet. I should have known. That's where she always hides. I shove aside the coats and boots. I'm going to get you. Quick as a rat, she scoots through my legs and runs around and around the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, yelling, Ami! Ami! Help! Help! Oh, she's going to get Sana. I bet she's steaming mad because she was dreaming about that lollipop. Ami comes out, rubbing her eyes. Sana runs behind Ami, where I can't get her. What's going on out here, says Ami. Sana says, Rubina's trying to get me. Ami puts her hands on her hips. Are you trying to get your little sister again? She ate my lollipop, the greedy thing. She ate it. Ami says, for shame, it's just a lollipop. Can't you share with your little sister? I want to cry, but I don't. How would that make you feel if your mom told you you had to share your lollipop with your sister after she ate it? Sana runs to the fridge and brings back the triangle stuck to the stick. Look, I didn't eat all of your lollipop. I left a triangle for you. See, says Ami, she didn't eat all of it. She's sharing with you. Go ahead, take the triangle. So I have to take it. Go ahead, eat the triangle. But I don't. With all my might, I throw it across the room. It skitters under the sofa. Sana scurries after it. And she eats that, too. Oh, that seems kind of frustrating to have your lollipop eaten. And then be expected to eat just the 
little bit that's left. So she throws it across the room. She's so frustrated. And there goes the little sister scurrying about and eating it, finishing the job. The worst thing is that all the girls at school know if they invite me to their birthday parties, I have to bring Sana. I don't get any invitations for a really long time. Oh, here they are giving out invitations to more birthday parties. And she's feeling left out because she's not invited to any more birthday parties because she has to bring her little sister who has to win all the games. Sheesh. Then one day, Sana comes home waving an invitation. Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys and cake and ice cream. Can I go? Our little sister, Miriam, screams, I want to go too. Sana says, no, I can't take her. She's not invited. Uh-oh. Does this sound familiar? Remember when Sana was Miriam's age and she wanted to go to the birthday party? Do you think Miriam should get to go to the birthday party like Sana got to go? Ami says, well, it's only fair. You went to Rubina's friend's party. Now, Rubina and Miriam can go to your friend's party. I say, leave me out of it. Ami says, fine. Then you have to take Miriam. Look at Rubina. She remembers what it was like to go to the birthday party. And that it wasn't fun for her. And now Ami is telling Sana that Sana has to take Miriam to the birthday party. Sana's not happy about that at all. Now it's Sana's turn to beg and plead. Ami won't listen. Sana's begging so hard she's crying. But still, Ami won't listen. I could just watch her have to take Miriam. I could just let her make a fool of herself at that party. I could just let her not be invited to any more parties. But something makes me tap Ami on the shoulder. What? Don't make Sana take Miriam to the party. No, says Ami. No, I say. Ami thinks for a moment, then says, Okay, so Sana gets to go by herself. Well, that was really nice of Rubina, wasn't it? Ami is just trying to be fair because she made Rubina take Sana. And so now she's making Sana take Miriam. But Rubina remembers how it felt to take her little sister and that it wasn't as fun. And maybe even a little embarrassing. After the party, I hear a knock on my door. What do you want? I ask Sana. Here. She hands me a big green lollipop. This is for you. Thanks, I say. After that, we're friends. Get her handing it. I bet Rubina didn't expect that. And now, Sana and Rubina are the best of friends, like sisters should be. Again, this is the Big Red Lollipop by Ruksana Khan. Ruksana Khan is from Pakistan, and when she was three years old, she moved to Canada, where she's now a prolific children's writer. So check out more books by Ruksana Khan. I am 3 Plus Key. I'm your favorite social worker. And this was TPK Kids. Um, I'll see you guys next week and I'll talk to you later.